welcome back welcome back okay we are going to do your full moon in Aries reading okay um, so if you're new to my channel welcome please do click like share and subscribe personal reading links and everything else you need is in the uh, description box below this video okay um, we're gonna skip the singles tonight because we do have a full moon through the 9th and the 10th okay um, and I think maybe a little bit of the 11th, you know, as the full moon phases out into the rest of this week. So we're going to take a look and see what the messages are for you, what's behind you, what's in front of you, what's are like presently, like right in front of you, what's ahead in the distance, what obstacles and what you need to do. Okay. So you're starting here, obviously, is full moon in Aries, October 9th. And I believe that this full moon um, begins at 1.55 Pacific time, PM, and 4.55 Eastern, okay? So a fiery cl uh, climax approaches. So I'm using the Moonology deck, full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches this week for you, starting the full moon, surrender to the divine. Okay, so basically, what that says here is it's time to see if you've been a little bit too much me, me, me. <laughs> There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants, but you'll have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, Virgo, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or harsh, gone too fast or overstepped the mark, then accept that on some level you've created the situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card shows up during the full moon in Aries, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. Okay, so be attuned to the moon. So basically, Try to be nice, be kind, smile, and be polite as you navigate to where you wish to be going forward, okay? Um, being assertive, Virgo, is good, but don't ride roughshod, uh, roughshod over anyone. Um, if you're in a tense situation, meditate your way to peace first. Don't be a baby. <laughs> Sorry, but this could be the issue. Um, you need to have more fun because the full moon in Aries is a super fiery time when emotions can run very, very high, Virgo. On the upside, there's excitement about what, me what might lie ahead, but tempers are likely to flare with rash comments or decisions. So no matter what, when, you, um, when this card shows up, it signals that the situation has just or is about to come to a peak, perhaps in a rather heated way. There could be a price to pay if you have been too competitive or too blunt. Okay, Virgo? So take that into consideration with this full moon energy in Aries, okay? So let's get into your reading. I wanna take a look and see at this time what is behind you, where the place that you are coming from, what is behind Virgo, where is Virgo coming from? Okay. So good, you're coming from a place of peace and balance, but you might feel you might be getting a little impatient, okay? You're, I feel like you're trying to balance your emotions and you've been doing a very good job at that, but understand that that's a, something that has to be put into practice every day. During this full moon, I do feel there is a chance that you might be feeling like, very aggressive okay and just remember all the work that you've put into maintaining peace and harmony try to keep that thread going especially when things get heated think back to your meditation practices think back to your prayers think back to stopping and taking a deep breath first before you say or do anything 
that or have a temper or you get angry or get upset okay so keep that in mind you've come a long way and you've been doing a really great job at that so keep that going okay um no matter what i just heard the song under pressure by queen and david bowie no matter what comes forward what happens in your life maintain a steady stable neutral position okay so let's take a look what is currently in front of you what is currently like in front of you okay you have the six of pentacles so there is there is some reciprocity but you might have some stress because you might be in a position where you have to ask for help um you know i feel like you don't want to i feel like virgo you are the type of person who's like no 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 i can handle it i can do it all by myself but you might feel a bit angry or just kind of like you want to do everything by yourself i feel like you need to ask for a little bit of help and i feel like that's okay okay um it creates bonds when you ask for people to help it ask for people ask people to help you it gives a sense of vulnerability it doesn't make you weak it actually makes you strong even stronger than you think you are because for you to kind of just put your head down and say you know what i i really can't do this alone or even just saying you know what even if i can i'm beat and i'm tired can you help me okay so what's in front of you right now is it's okay to ask for help okay it's okay to go to someone who's in a position to help you and be vulnerable it's not an energy of shame it's like you can always pay it forward later you're really good at helping other people if if you i always look at it when you let someone help you it's an opportunity to pay it forward or to help someone in return okay um so try to look at it like that during this full moon okay Let's take a look and see what's ahead of you. What is ahead of you? Oh, okay. So you've got the three of swords. Okay. So there is possibly some heartbreak um, or possibly an argument or a breakup or a situation that feels very uncomfortable. Okay. Um, so Virgo, I feel like in relation to this full moon in Aries it's really it's going to be really important for you during this week to take care of self okay um i also feel like as you're setting the tone for your week by coming from a place of peace and harmony you may have a situation that shows up this week where somebody gives you a hard time right or you're just you know you're feeling something in the heart or you you know not necessarily physically but you're feeling defeated in a way or there's some gossip or, or a third party situation comes in and just kind of like oh you know um i it's so important this week for you to maintain equilibrium i feel that very strongly some of you might be facing a love situation where you're being red crumbed and you might want to be angry and express your anger i mean feel your angry or feel your anger you can be angry that that's a normal human emotion but do not express it in a negative way towards another person if you need to get that anger out in whatever way works for you um redirect your anger elsewhere okay um so you might be sitting in a situation this week where you will want to be aggressive and you will want to i don't feel like hurt someone but it may come out wrong you really have to take control self discipline this week okay um i do feel there is and i have to say it like it is there may be a situation where there's an argument or a fight that comes forward to this week and you know what though the good thing is that it sits on this surrender to the divine this is a situation where you've got to like give it up to spirit give it up to god you got to say look you take care of this thing for me because i i can't let this ruin my day my week my month my year 
right? You take care of this for me. I am going to use my Aries full moon energy and direct it in, channel it into something productive. I'm not going to um, seek revenge or try to or try to avenge myself. I'm going to take this anger I feel and all this pent up energy for some situation that I see coming before you and channeling it channeling all that energy into progressing something or finishing a task okay or something that you're working on that needs your attention right because that anger people don't stay angry long <laughs> they hold on to bitterness and resentment which really is just something that will eat away at your soul it hurts no one but you but the feeling of anger that adrenaline rush that emotion it, it's not sustainable so make sure because that anger is like a flash and when that goes away and then if you've done something you might regret that later so understand your anger own it when you feel it okay any kind of stress don't react to anything just do whatever you can do to allow that to dissipate and then you can respond if you need to respond okay so let me see what your obstacles are for you at this time. Okay. <laughs> the Queen of Cups in the reverse. So an obstacle for you is another person with that Queen of Cups energy in reverse. Um, this is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Um, it's energy. It doesn't have to be this person. The obstacle is this person extremely codependent and manipulative emotionally manipulative this is somebody who purposely plays the victim or tries to make um, other people feel sorry for them in order to control them okay this is not someone who's aggressive uh, forceful dominating um, it's it's the absolute opposite okay this is someone who is overly kind um, maybe overly emotional but their tactics are to keep you near them to kind of make you try to make you feel guilty and, and you know nobody can make you feel any way unless you give them permission but this person this is an obstacle for you this could be a, a lover this could be a friend this could be a family member um, or a work colleague this is someone they might have something to do with all of this situation that's going on here okay like I said, there could be some kind of upsetting situation coming towards you. You've got to be the bigger person, okay? If you've got to call somebody out, wait until you're not angry. But you have to be the bigger person in this situation. Now, I am going to ask what you need to do, but this is the energy that I'm picking up. So let me see. Oh, okay. Well, that's exactly what I was saying. Six of Swords energy is move away from the situation first. Okay, what you need to do to handle this situation, right? Always set your intentions for the best outcome for this full moon. But with that six of swords, this is move away. Get away from this situation. The necessary thing, this is a necessary transition for you. The necessar necessary thing for you to do is maybe go take a vacation, go into the other room. Um, it, it feels very aggressive like your your energy will may feel very aggressive if you allow it some of you might not have an aggressive bone in your body i get it but that moon is powerful so something here coming up this week to do with another person okay um you need to if you need to energetically move yourself away from something you see or hear or come to understand or something that's said to you um, or something that comes to light that does not make you happy. Uh, the sword energy is all about the thoughts. Change your thinking about the situation. For some of you, this might be a situation where you have to say to yourself, you know what? This person cannot help themselves. I don't know why they do what they do. I can't change them. I can only change myself. And I just hope I have the wisdom to, to remember that, okay? And for others, this could be physically moving yourself out of the situation to save yourself from re having any regrets or anything that you might regret saying or doing. Okay. So 
I think that's going to be it for your singles reading. I know it's a little bit, of, oh, why did I say singles? It for your full moon reading. I know it's a little bit short, um, but I wanted to get exactly and right to the point and give you a little guidance during this full moon because I feel like for everyone, <laughs> full moon in Aries energy, you've got to surrender. <laughs> you have to surrender to the divine and make sure that your energy <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, all the hard work and the effort that you've put in that you, hmm, they're just saying, tell Virgo, never let them see you sweat, Virgo. Never let, because you let people see you sweat and then they know they've got some kind of power over you. And it's not a mind game. It's just self-discipline. It's self-control. It's being the bigger person, the better person, and saying, you know, I, I don't know what the deal is with you. I don't know why you behave the way you do. I don't know why you say the things you do. Or I'm not going to continue arguing over this situation. We'll come back and talk about it in another time where we're both of sound mind and in a good place to resolve a situation here. Okay. So that is your full moon message, Virgo. I hope that was helpful for you. I will see you back here tomorrow for your regular love messages. Have a great, awesome week. All right, take care.